think five, ten years from now, it's going to be a total transformation of what we think about when it comes to artificial legs. Dan Ferris has a passion to understand how people walk and run. Ferris and his research team at the University of Michigan refuse to settle for the prosthetics of the past. They envision a future where amputees will be able to control their prosthetic limbs with their thoughts. Nicole Verkylen was diagnosed with bone cancer as a child. She had her left leg amputated at the age of 10. The name of the cancer is osteogenic sarcoma. Basically, what the doctors were saying is the greatest chance of me saving my life would be to have an amputation. Nicole has been in remission for 12 years and graduated from Michigan in 2013. She visits the Human Neuromechanics Lab on campus to help test this powered prosthetic, providing Ferris's team with crucial feedback on the user experience. A standard prosthetic foot that below the amputees walk on are passive devices. You can't tell it how to behave, so I think it's really limiting. I developed a powered prosthesis that uses the amputee's muscle activation signal in their residual muscle to control the mechanics of the foot. So this means that when the amputee thinks about contracting their muscle, that signal from the muscle is sent to the controller for the foot. The leg I have right now, there's not much pushback or control. So with the prosthesis she has, I'm controlling it. As an amputee, that's really important to be able to have control over your own leg. With a passive prosthetic ankle foot, the amputee cannot tell it what to do. What we're doing here is we're allowing the amputee to communicate directly with the device and use that control to tell it when to provide power. Just the simple fact that they're regaining control of their body is really empowering. Just being able to look down and know that I'm controlling my foot flexing, like that's something I haven't had since I was 10 years old. And that's like a, it's a really big emotional piece. There's so much energy and propulsion provided by this prosthesis that it can almost take an amputee back to what they would say was normal for them. They think about doing something and it happens. When the amputees use these devices that are actually in control of their own muscles, they get very strong emotional responses because they feel like it's their own leg. What it's provided me emotionally is a sense of pride. You know, I lost my leg, and so part of me has been lost since I had that amputation. But now there's almost like a sense of putting the pieces kind of back together, and that emotional piece is invaluable.